वार्तालाप आकाश एंड नवीन ये विथ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विशाल Nice to meet you, Vishal. Vishal, yes. give us your full name, and uh, we'll tell people why it's important. Vishal yeah. Vijay Premchand Malhotra. Oh wow, we got the legal name. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Vishal. But I added my grandfather's name also, Premchand. That's nice. Premchand I mean, is a nice he name. He was a lovely man. He yeah. was a professor of economics. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Our producer has managed to make a lot of chair noise <laughs> just <laughs> as the recording has started. Yes. Who's the producer? Uh, the we also don't know actually. Yes. <laughs> There's three of them over there. We we pick one and we go. Matt, through. Matt. The one, corner, the one, one who show. doesn't have samosas. Yeah. <laughs> the one who's staring back at us every week. We come here. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we tell him, "Hey, man, we have an hour of recording. Yeah. Why don't you get a samosa from a shop that is five meters away, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. that far oh, away?" Uh, uh, क्या है शॉप का नाम? Gujarati Gujarati Dairy. अरे यार Tharu भी है ना यहाँ पर Tharu में था. Gujarati Dairy is the place. क्या बात? Tharu Maru doesn't matter. That's a good uh, samosa. It's, it's the good samosa. Beautiful. Where do you get good chole bhature? Lashkara. <laughs> <laughs> स्पीकिंग <laughs> publicly when i was like 17 right oh. but uh, until then like my skill was drawing and uh, you were a drawer i was a drawer <laughs> in my house uh, that used to put oh. underwear inside me <laughs> <laughs> and then i started like doing artwork okay yeah. on my own drawing book yeah. or whatever my sister was like what are you doing this for i'm like i see all the kids on disney are doing it i also want to like you know send yeah. this so she was like why don't we do this so that back then it was on zee tv yeah. and i sent my artwork it was yeah. a fairy and everything and we got a response letter back from disney are saying ki thanks for sending this your art was selected but now we are on sony tv <laughs> as disney time so in the transition yeah. period my art was never featured and oh, i felt no. very hurt but but uh, thankfully you were still around even despite your phone's ringing eh hey, mera ko- nahi ye to ye to voda phone hai <laughs> you chhod dete <laughs> fuck that <laughs> but no so that was like a very pivotal moment where i'm like first first memory of disappointment of like was being involved vishal <laughs> I not, know that that it, it not involved the shadow you were the silver because lining you were you were the host i was the host and yeah. i wanted you to specifically hold like you know take my ah. name or whatever that was a big thing and uh, that never came to be but uh, here we are i'm just saying that the the way yeah, universe works yeah. that you years later yeah and we, i can tell you this in a, in a podcast where i'm like shit you know how how the world yeah. of, like whatever coincidences works yeah. and like here we are sitting and doing this no like it's amazing that you're saying this on a serious note abhi to main thoda serious sound karunga but the fact is that Uh, it's a blessing here. Yeah, you know, uh, being a kid and kids following you, and then you growing up on television and film, and the audience growing up with you. Yeah, mm. and what you just narrated to me about, uh, I'd send you this letter on Disney R, and, mm. and, and, and yeah. I get that uh, every time somebody meets me. Mm. Yeah, uh, along with a lot of other things. Uh, but I can't say sorry here. <laughs> you know, but but th- but there was a point where. I remember our team telling us that we're getting eight thousand letters a day, yeah. right from from different countries for some reason. So great, yeah. I mean that adulation was not something that um, I tried for, but yeah. uh, it was lovely to have it. And yeah. as you said, what goes around also comes, comes around. around yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you ever feel yeah. sorry? But like you, you had max adulation. At a point in history where if you had had it five years later, it would have been on the social media. You know what I mean? Yeah, the hippie pure generation, and let's say that uh, Star One show. What was that uh, remix? Remix, yeah. The whole like you know that was the remix was just hippie pure re merchandised. If you yeah, if you yeah, look yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But those stars today, it's like, okay, we can say yeah, all this. Karan Wahi is like you know yeah. <laughs> on a different like you know status. What he's saying is absolutely yeah. right. Like you like know, like in the sense that you were peak fame. Like when I was a kid, okay. And like you were everywhere in my life. Yeah, right? everybody, like everybody knows everybody, your name. Yeah, everybody knew you. Everybody knew the fact that oh my God, it's the guy from the that that. That was the bare minimum we all knew, right? Yeah. If I had seen you on the street, I wouldn't have known your name. I would have still be like ah, but ah. Uh, and if this would have been ninety, uh, this would have been two thousand ten instead of nineteen ninety seven. 
you know what i mean it would have been a completely different uh, this thing you are the last generation of celebrity without social media without the and that's why you're still pamps. interviewing me 27 years later Absolutely, that's yeah. my perspective yeah with all humility that is my i'm glad it wasn't there i'll yeah. tell you what social media has done besides the great stuff mm. it's also shortened your attention span yeah that's why i feel my longevity wouldn't have been there if there was social media today yeah. because that created uh, i say this with humility and gratefulness that because i created that kind of a uh, acknowledgement from the people whether it was hip hip hooray whether it was ishq wish yeah. mambo whether it was yeah. disney r whether Vicky it was vital, Vicky or vital <laughs> and that's amazing right i mean yeah. i can say these things uh in a time of uh, tiktok and instagram reels which the retainership of the mind of the audience has come down to literally 10 seconds yeah, the yeah. goldfish thing yeah yeah I'm here 27 years down the line and y'all are finding it important to take out an hour from the day when you're hungry and talking to me. <laughs> yeah. So so I'm not trying to boast here but I'm trying to say that that happened and uh, and social media enhanced that. Yeah. It just And it I just, continued working. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I'm a mixture of all these things. Yeah. Absolutely. But I want to know how did you end up on the Disney gig? Like you know like It must have been I was hanging out. Uh, <laughs> I was. I I know this pitter pat because I just done a TED talk, hmm. and I was talking about something. And this is uh, so I was in uh, National College, hmm. and I was outside Jai Sandwich Wala with a friend of mine, Nimesh, hmm. and uh, we were hanging out. We were not in class, uh, and this uh, geeky. I was very geeky. I'm more geeky than what I look now. So there was this really really pretty girl who walks up and comes to me. and she says that you know we are testing we are auditioning for something mm. and i was wondering if you'd like to do it i said yeah cool man <laughs> and that time landline number yeah, okay, i'm yeah, talking yeah, ancient yeah and she went so my friends like uh, you know you be using butt head and i was like uh, i was so she's like she like you like oh cool uh, uh-huh. but what is an audition i'm like fuck knows yeah <laughs> yeah yeah right my got a pretty girl to get a number of she did call me she called me and i went there and mm. i did it and bro i mean one thing i want to say to you is that it just came to me uh being in front of a camera for the first time in my life was more comfortable than me having a conversation with 99% of the human beings that i interacted with thus far mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think that's what we feel for stand up also is like yeah. Yeah. on stage it's much different because then like you just, there's you just forget your inhibitions yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. home all of a sudden yeah. 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 yeah absolutely and you guys just i see the fact that when you guys are on stage um it just flows even if you fumble who the hell cares you'll cover yeah. it up and there's a naturalness to it so it's not easy but it's a god gift yeah it's only human actually like to acknowledge that fact actually i mean oh, you can only do it in stand up but uh, now it must have been a very odd thing like i remember my first audition was a very odd experience for me it was very uncomfortable for me like i didn't un- and how you know i mean did they must have done the thing right where you do a take and they're like oh no great 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 and then you re- don't It's really know mug shot where you're like kedi number 5 samne se le lo side se le do you remember what lines they made you do like when you yeah there was a script from um, i mean i don't really remember the script but i remember what it was i remember what i was wearing but it went off very well yaar like i was more com- i was as comfortable as i'm now yeah i don't know how mm. that happened mm. yeah i just I was just a kid Yeah, I was I was all of sixteen and a half. 17. What did you, your parents were okay with the idea of you acting? Of course, my parents my my parents are my parents are entrepreneurs. Okay. My father is the guy who got uh, cable television into India. Ah, so he's pretty much a rock star. Um, my mother is a professor of mathematics. Okay, so they've they've always encouraged. I've got two elder sisters. They've always encouraged us to say. do what you want at least that's a romantic way of saying it mm. or maybe they just didn't care about us <laughs> so just do it so well, usually yeah. by the third kid they're a little casual you know they like third kid. to dekh le ha it's third kid it's funny that your dad brought cable tv to india yeah, and uh, yeah. for the yeah. first two years we moved to bandar we used to steal cable from our neighbors there you go <laughs> but by, by then yeah ye gulf war ke baad hua hoga Haan. because by Haan. then gulf war destroyed my dad's business Haan. because all of a sudden there was satellite television and jahan par teen channel the dd ke wahan par all of a sudden 30 channels aa gaye you had to plug in systems where wires would go for one socket for like one hour yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. they had a cable going through a pipe and we just put our wire through the pipe to the antenna yeah. so we're catching dd ka channels and parallel channels that they have star plus ah. so that's how i actually started watching how did you movie. watch porn on tv How no. did you generally watch? Uh, my, porn? my my first porn experience was Conan the Barbarian. My cousin gave me a DVD of that. That's not porn, is it? I mean, it's soft porn. Like it starts off with like Titanic, Conan the Barbarian, and then you start watching like more. देखना पड़ेगा यार. Conan the Barbarian. तो you 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 jumped off on Conan. I did. 
I mean I'm gay so by oh, default that's nice. right. yeah okay. yeah so right. so for you me you talked to Anil Swastika yeah in the beginning yeah you were into the buff short thing? skirts thighs i was confused actually. man like you don't immediately know your type as soon as fair, you like fair. no like, no defense i'm just saying i'm just at 13 like i Arnold also Swastika just Swastika just feels as as Navin is now you, you seen him in Conan the Barbarian he's got a chest of a size of football dude that's true yeah i was actually looking at his legs him a massive so we all have different body parts we as indians uh, <laughs> ignore legs workout lower yeah. body weight yeah. 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 so does yeah. kanya actually yeah. cyrus has got tits he has he's good got, but he's got like a tapering body now but he can, he's become but he like can yeah. lift like crazy yeah, he is very proud of that yeah he's like deadlifting this much and that much and i'm very like, good yeah and yeah. doesn't even carry a belt on his back like he's one of crazy. the one of the single handedly most talented human beings on this planet on a serious note Cyrus bro chahiye Cyrus oh, yeah. oh okay okay ha no yeah, yeah why not yeah, yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> the thing is we we are over exposed dude like yeah. now you know even i had the wow moment when i first met cyrus and now i see no i didn't have week. a wow moment hello kaise <laughs> kaise wow moment and all all keep to yourself you were famous when cyrus was famous yeah i think we were famous together i guess <laughs> right so i was offered a gig on uh, with with mtv also a long time ago yeah. mm. but that meant me leaving disney uh-huh. uh, and me leaving a lot of things which i'm known for so i took that was one of the first decisions i had to make in my life yeah speaking of that how young yeah. were you when you ah uh, when that i was 21 and i remember oh, wow. the then executive producers of the head of mtv sitting down with me and saying you're 21 please make your mistakes now <laughs> and i was like no i am loyal <laughs> but i'm I no mean regrets. considering now Disney owns the world it it kind of makes sense in the long run you know Yeah I mean I'm glad that they gave me didn't pay me they gave me 1% equity at that oh, time wow, of Disney Oh wow dude what? what so That's yeah, amazing Yeah 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 Great! Ek second, ek second. Wait, you can just drop that. Stop that. Uh, let's continue this conversation. You got paid in ESOPs. <laughs> so I didn't want to uh, fight uh, Elon for the forty-four billion. <laughs> but uh, but it brings oh, up an invest uh, yeah. interesting. Uh, but uh, again, again now, uh, sorry, but now yeah. I'm my guju brain is up. Yeah. yeah. Ek <laughs> second. So your parents would have obviously handled like the negotiations and everything nothing, for no, you. No, nothing. Nothing. So I'll tell you how much I got also money. You want to know? No, no, no. I don't want to know how much money. I'm trying to understand like how you must have been what eighteen, nineteen when you seventeen when you. I I remember getting. You were a minor. You couldn't even negotiate for yourself. But I did. But I did. That's what. So tell me more. What do you want to know, man? I went by. Uh, I took two eleven bus. My, my parents are uh, done well for themselves. Yeah, and on their own steam. Very good for them. I had nothing to do with that. Uh, so we live in a nice affluent area in Mumbai called Bali Hill, and that's where I grew up. I studied in a nice school called Jamna Bai Narsi School. Yeah. All mm-hmm. right, in Jew, and uh, uh, this was when I just finished school. It was eleven standard ish, I think. I'm not sure. Eleven, yeah. twelve standard. and uh, i remember uh, but my parents kind of instilled those i don't know if it was values or they just didn't have time but they used to never drive us around we used to never have a driver we used to take a bus and go everywhere so yeah. 211 from petit school petit girl school mm. used to take me to turner road yeah. and then from there 255 used to take me to this thing yeah and if i wanted to go into town where nirlon house in worli was where the yeah. disney office was lalit modi owned uh, 49% of uh, disney at that time because wow. at that time the rule by our government was that you couldn't have half yeah. percentile yeah. has to be owned by an indian so modi yeah, yeah, basically yeah so discovery and a lot of those channels were there and um, so i took a bus 211 and then from there 362 to uh, nilon house i went there and i signed my contract i took a bus and came back my contract was 4000 rupees per episode and we would definitely do four episodes and this was not even when ztv started yeah. it was on dd metro on a show called disney club uh-huh. yeah 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 i was yeah so that's it and i didn't even know what i was getting in and can i tell you why i did this yeah because i wanted to make enough money to pay for my applications for my submissions of my Uh, college admissions as undergrad in the states and right. all this because my all my friends there went there. So in that time, if you remember, it was the herd mentality. Computer science, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still uh, is actually. <laughs> my, 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 no. my contemporaries from telecom and IT also have that same ambition. Yeah, but I just yeah. feel that kids nowadays uh, are just so much more clear in their head, yar. Yeah, because I think that's a very small percentage up. actually, Vishal. I'll be honest. Yeah. Like very very few. Like uh, like I'm an engineering kid who who migrated away into writing and mm-hmm. comedy. Mm-hmm. But in my entire college, there are perhaps like. I'm talking 120 per batch, okay? Mm-hmm. So in my final year, there were easily 400 kids. Only mm-hmm. two of us are artists today. I'm doing comedy, and one more girl is so a singer. One, can I ask you something? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Firstly, secondly, why am I seeing a lot of engineers moving into the creative field? 
because kids who are undecided end up doing engineering they get most yeah. dissatisfied it's more of a steering mechanism where they are like yo entrance test de do jao and then figure out what you want to do kuch nahi karna hai na kuch nahi pata hai na engineering kar ya to law kar do hi to bachta hai law maa baap na bolenge bilkul yaar i was not like that i i wanted to become a writer since i was in 9th grade but i went fighting into the whole thing just because more poverty bro really i i have a law degree because i love writers listen i want to take this opportunity not just as a this thing i love writers and i just feel that worldwide especially in india we just so under bloody cut valued yeah if we just increase the quality of writing yeah, <laughs> yeah. i don't to understand the quality is there but money is not in india i used to also work with vice and 101 india and like all these other the money is there yaar come on yaar money is there for the tiktok people now the money is there for the followers no the, it's, it's, the influencer it's mentality has taken over the writing mentality like everything yeah. in the world i think boils down to how what we assign value to and why we assign value to it yeah. Yeah. right so it's yeah. always the formulas change that's all it is you know uh but hey, no so but all i'm trying to say is uh, kids today what i i partially agree with you like they do definitely know a lot more about what's going on than kids earlier used to but i don't think they understand what's going on as much as they used to because there's a lot more noise also so to have an opinion you really need to be able to cut through the noise which is very difficult for most kids i feel it's not noise as much as it's options bro uh abhi yaar nahi main apne aap ko compare kar raha hu main matlab my 18 year old version and today's 18 years old matlab asma matlab i would be that 18 year old of today yeah. you know mm-hmm. what i'm trying to say nahi yaar par agar hai na tumhare paas 2500 influencer hai jo tumko din mein bol rahe hai tere ko ye karna hai tere ko hasal karna hai tere ko dhanda banane ka tere ko xyz karne ka it's a very muddled space you know what i mean we had a very clear moral uh, compass growing up mm-hmm. that is becoming way more difficult to maintain uh, in life in general so you don't know what you want to do so and it's i for them to tune into what they yeah. really can tap into their mental yeah and the thing is i do so many college shows every year like i go here and there most of my audience is college kids and i see it on their face sometimes they have no idea what the fuck is going on anymore they are yeah. very yeah. confused very disturbed but they don't care as much as we did no in fact because they are like yeah, ah, something numb. will happen yeah but they're numb also to an extent because the reel is also there to distract na aisa kuch nahi to agla reel dekh lo 15 second hi to hai yeah 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 but but okay i think that awareness that you had is great man did you read your contract did you understand the terms of I your did, contract i did yeah i did read it i tried to understand it at one point in page half i saw <laughs> या डूड मतलब क्या करेंगे यार मैं क्या मेरे पास है क्या जो ले लेंगे ये लोग ठीक है करते हैं बट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स इन जनरल इवन एट दैट टाइम एंड स्पेशली विद डिज्नी आर वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट बिकॉज़ इट कम्स ऑल द वे फ्रॉम बर्बैंक एंड यू नो इट्स कनेक्टेड टू द स्टेट्स एंड इट्स वन होल वर्ल्ड थिंग एंड देयर आर लॉट ऑफ रूल्स एंड यू नो इट वाज लाइक अ बूट कैंप फॉर मी एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट इट हैपेंड एट दैट स्टेज इन माय करियर इट रियली डिसिप्लिनड मी Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh which which a lot of my contemporaries lacked. Yeah. And I think that give me that little bit of an edge. Yeah. I believe. So that discipline really came to me and thanks to Disney for that. Did you ever end up getting a college degree? Of course. What did you uh, graduate TY Bcom? Yeah. No, sorry, from Mumbai only. Mumbai. Yeah. Are yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I went actually I went yeah. to I was selected by Rotary to become an exchange student. Okay. So I became the first exchange student between India and France. Oh nice. And France where you know people think Paris but I was down south in a place called Albi mm-hmm. which is a 10,000 population uh gaon hai which is one hour away from Toulouse. Now Toulouse is where the Airbus factory is. Hmm. Airbus ke bare mein main bataunga because my my love is avionics. I love planes. I'm a Well, I'm a pilot. Your commercial so, uh, uh, license holding. Uh, not commercial license. Okay. I don't even have a PPL, but I'm working towards okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. I've set up a flight simulator in my house for the last, uh, seriously, for the last thirty years now. Wow. Building, 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 and now it it, it looks nice. Should nice. We, we need to see a photo of this, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you. I'll send it. Or come over only, na? Yeah. Uh, for, uh, yeah. We'll, I'm your neighbor for a bit before I move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. I'm your yeah. neighbor How? for a while. How? I'm uh, I'm moving the house I'm living in is going into redevelopment so I'm moving back into my parents house I will okay. stay there until I get married after which I will stay there until I save up enough That's to great. do the next you know, thing you're that in I need a very envious position Yes yes I find myself enviable position I I constantly uh, I'm very envious also of yourself <laughs> Good good on you yeah. good on you Life is I don't envy the moving back yeah. to your parents house part That mm. that will be traumatic but it's okay oh, they are good people uh, mm. but <laughs> the only they, they other... are yeah parents are good until like you wake up the next morning <laughs> and it's the same thing Don't have covid no 
no, no, not that i know of. Huh. Yeah. yeah uh but um, mm-hmm. the the uh, uh, the only other avi- the flight simulator i've seen is in uh, vizag when i had gone no you're talking about those actual things where you get into the hydraulics and all obviously it's not that mine is a little room which i've slowly but you must have have must have wo nahi kiya maine matlab maine monitors extra dal diye hain nice. hardware equipment dala hai yoke hai throttle hai nice. spoiler lever hai rudder buttons hai software means my 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 hardware of my huh. computer has become Like it can launch a rocket. Yeah. I get scared. Like sometimes I'll launch my building. <laughs> you know, if I press a button. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's on heat. Street and and I have to put two yeah. ACs in my little room yeah. because the heat which comes out of it. You know, I'm sure. Yeah. My hair gets yeah. waxed on my legs. Oh man. By burning. <laughs> so that's oh, what. Oh man. It's a matter. So Sajna, when are you? यार तेरे मुंह में घी और शक्कर. आ नहीं यार वो तो क्या यार. Uh, but I yeah, I mean you know I I've been thinking about this. लूँगा लेकिन. Yeah no I think. Gulfstream it makes sense. लूँगा. वो तो लूंगा मैं मैं बता रहा आपको बट व्हाई ओके हियर्स सॉरी नवीन टू गो इन टू प्लेन्स फॉर फाइव मिनट्स बट आई 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 दिस 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 इज़ इज़ व्हाट व्हाट डू 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 ओके ओके लव हैव हैबिट Uh, also big fan of avionics. How? Uh, In what sense? Uh, he he's just been a fan. He never got his pilot license. Couldn't get. Got too old. He always wanted me to get. I am not interested. Now right. the grandson is the one who will one day fly. Uh, <laughs> but I am not petrol. 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 Wow, ये मस्त है इसमें तो टॉयलेट में ये यू नो अच्छा टू बाय यू लुक एट नो आई मीन व्हाटएवर लाइक बिकॉज़ आई आई एम लाइक फीचर्स एट सम डे इन माय लाइफ यू नो इफ आई आकाश इज अ पैरामीटर गाय बट बाइंग अ प्लेन इज अ वेस्ट ऑफ मनी इजंट इट द पार्किंग इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव पार्किंग इज मेंटेनेंस ऑल दैट इज एक्सपेंसिव आई डोंट जस्ट मेन इन जेस की बिल्डिंग में पार्क के लिए जगह नहीं है माय ब्रदर नो गली में आने देंगे नहीं रनवे के नाम पे नहीं इट्स अ वेस्ट आई मीन बट फ्रैक्शनल शेयरिंग इज देयर व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी कूल Yeah. yeah you can you can buy a plane with people mm-hmm. uh, and and collectively own the plane like how me and my flatmate oh, like, own the like, speaker yeah, together but one of my friends started plane. fractional house owning second house fractional owning oh wow fantastic where is it nahi wo paise dega to main promote karunga ha sahi itna bata diya mere ko main offline puchega jab apan plane udayenge na aapke ghar pe but main bhi aadha sindhi hu yaar ha good good nahi nahi vasul ne ka yeah so this i'm not You know, a, a Cessna is like a great plane to drive yourself mm-hmm. but i always it's an auto with wings oh Yeah, but is it though? Isn't it? It looks so fancy and comfy and with all the features and It's everything. It's an auto with wings. Okay. So auto, auto me, you have wings. Dal do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But then, what is the Gulfstream? Is an equivalent of what a Mercedes sedan? Oh no, much more. A Bentley SUV plus plus plus. Okay, but then don't. Why would you want to drive it? Wouldn't you want to be the one? Because sitting? I love flying. I want to. I mean, what's see? That's what I don't understand. People mm. buy the fanciest cars and give it to the driver. Right. Right. I understand parking, but. <laughs> यार यार ये ये ठीक है 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 सेम सेम इश्यूज इश्यूज वही मेरा इसलिए मैंने खरीदा माय ब्रदर नो व्हेन व्हेन तो उसका एक बैचमेट वो बहुत ही लाइक अल्ट्रा रिच आदमी है तो ये भी काफी ब्रदर इन लंडन ही थ्रू दैट नहीं नहीं तो अभी और अभी मैं बोलता मनीपाल और फिर मैं बोलता की सऊदी ऑयल मैगनेट एंड ऑल तो तुम बोलते ऐसे कैसे हो गया आई जस्ट वन परसेंट क्या बोलूंगा you know your, your hair is longer from behind so i didn't know uh, <laughs> how to approach you but now you know now you know yeah great yeah so this guy he used to always complain about this only like they used to my brother would tell me ki there's all these rich people they they are in london they're all execs of companies and all yeah and their companies paying for the mba companies paying for everything so they'll get a posh just for on rent for two days that they've come for class yeah this guy will get his private jet both of them will sit next to each other in the canteen and complain parking but life should be that easy na bhai <laughs> But but life should be that easy. Yeah, like this. And I'll tell you why. I'll give you an example. Um, uh, you Dubai. Huh. People call it a mad city. It is a mad city. Huh. But there you can actually own. Like the uh, high end. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can. It's a matter of fact. Yeah. And yeah. why not? You know, I feel that everybody should experience things once. Yeah. Because the uh, forbidden fruit or the aspirational that we create 
sometimes is much far superior, uh, superior yeah. than what it actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then yeah. your uh, real motivations in life will be very different. I and I also noticed agree. like you no know, people who have fancy cars love showing it off to other people mm. because it's like one of those things that they have status, strived. Yeah. No, also more status. I think achievement. It's like, it's like look at all the cool things that come with it. Like I remember I first when I was mm. like 22 and I was working at Bookmy Show that when I could afford to like have friends who had better lives than me, and <laughs> and my friend's friend owned a BMW with mm. a sunroof and I'm like fuck this was. For me, I'd never wow. been a sunroof. I'm, I'm, I'm a kid who travelled on the second part of this, not even sleeper, a seater in bus. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I've <laughs> done that. I've done that. Where you sit like this and go. So, go so yeah, lots yeah. of times. Yeah, yeah, so like you know, when you see that end of life, and then to having like at 3 a.m. in Andheri streets, like back yeah. road of local Rwala, you're going around at the hundred k speed, and somebody is like asking you to go out of the roof and see how it feels. You no, know, that scene from uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Yeah, yeah. That's what I felt like in that moment. I was infinite <laughs> in that moment. But, uh, But I, I get it. what you're saying, you know. Yeah, everybody likes to show off about their cars, especially. Nice. Okay. And, yeah, it's, and, and it's a thing like, it's a thing that we should all enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you feeling like even that day we went by your car? Our car is yeah, a new yeah. car, by the way. Which one? Uh, I got a Seltos. Nice. I yeah. I have a Seltos also. My yeah. my wife has a Seltos. Yeah. Very nice. Very best. That's a value for money. Value for money. All yeah. features and are there. Super. <laughs> so exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> sonnet. <laughs> sonnet. <laughs> Yeah, sonnet yeah. also little small. It I need for my family, you know. So I got that big one. You know how nice, the car gets nice. activated. You have to go and say a cell to sky. But I would, pro- <laughs> uh, but I would definitely promote an electric cycle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had it. I bought it before about a year before the pandemic. Yeah. And, uh, it does it drive cool. on its own? Oh, like, God. does it charge by your pedaling, or do you have to plug it in? What's electric about it? Yeah, so uh, you know, it doesn't. So I'm just making yeah. <laughs> jokes. Sorry. <laughs> But no, it's like a यार लैपटॉप का चार्जर होता है ना वो लेकर आप डाल दो कहीं पर सॉकेट में इन द बिल्डिंग पे सो दर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी को बट बट फॉर फोर आर्स बट डस इट मेक पेडलिंग इजीर और डस इट पेडल फॉर नो सो आई हैव अ एक्चुअल थ्रोटल आई शो टू डाउनस्टेयर ओके या एंड आई कैन स्विच इट ऑफ आल्सो एंड बिकम्स अ नॉर्मल बाइक एंड व्हेन इट्स ऑन So and I can actually do this, or if I pedal, yeah. it'll catch. It'll get that. Uh, oh, but but if it's a Yulu bike, but, but it, it doesn't wants. charge when it. Uh, it does. But if it must be a really heavy bike when you're not very light, throttling. Very it. light. What? Okay, we're gonna take a break, and I'm gonna go see the cycle right fucking now. See you after the break. <laughs> Sorry, taking over a job. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'll make a call. Hello, 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 everybody! It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the longest constitution, Priya talks about electoral bonds and why they're unconstitutional. On Press Decode, Sarah Bagda and Prafulla look at the Indian competitive exams and their unreasonable rules. On Think Fast, Varun and Sujitha discuss metabolic fitness programs like Ultra Human and the pros and cons of home offices. On Cock and Bull, Cyrus and Abbas are joined by actor, screenwriter, and director Rajat Kapoor. They talk about his love of cinema and his new film R K R K. And on the Habit Coach, Ashton talks about the five stages of grief. Once again, I'd like to remind you all that we got some exciting merchandise out there for you guys. Go to the IBM Podcast website and click on the Shop tab and check out our first collection of T-shirts. Also, do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. We're also on YouTube. Do remember to check out a bunch of our channels over there. And also remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please tell a friend. Word of mouth is very, very helpful for spreading the word. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week: Boat Lifestyle, Small Case, Cap Gemini, and Intel V Pro. Thank you so much for making this possible. Yeah, we're back on Varta Lab, and uh, Varta our Lab. job is at stake right now. Yeah, yeah, we have, Vishal, have to hurry. Vishal it Malutra, seems. Yeah, we have to hurry. Also, also cool. Yeah, a lot uh, of pressure has been uh, put on us in this break. We went down to look at the cycle. We got distracted by samosas. Yeah, hey, by whom? Um, who's putting pressure on you? Uh, I'm. Uh, you don't know the person. While who, I was on my call, also he's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he doesn't respect the space that artists yeah. like us need. They were giving us 0.25 percent more of that steak. Yeah, and he said, "Hurry it up." So. Uh, now it's gone. Now it's gone. No, now no, it's no gone. I got it. You got oh. it. Chalo, chalo. At yes. least he got it, guys. Got at it. least Thanks he got to it, guys. Yes. Chalo. Somebody's day is not ruined completely. Yes. At least uh, NFTs. You are making them. You were the first Indian celebrity to make them. People have told well, me to Indian make. First Indian actor. Okay. I don't know the definition of celebrity, and I didn't really go for it in that sense. It was back in June. Okay. I was looking at. Uh, I'll say something very fancy. Diversifying my portfolio. Mm. <laughs> huh? These are the uh, words that get me going. Going, no? <laughs> equity, commodities, ये stock है, वो stock है, बोर हो गया. Stop it, stop it, yeah. Uh, turning on. घर पे बैठे हैं, क्या करें? पांच रुपए extra आ गया. हाँ. अरे यार, ये bitcoins क्या होते? चलिए खरीदते हैं पांच छह. फिर औकात में आ गया. एक clubhouse करके, कहाँ से clubhouse? Clubhouse करके एक. You can say anything. हाँ, Disney training. 
तो ये एक यू नो दैट गिवन मी एन इनवाइट टू कम एंड जॉइन एंड ओपन रूम्स एंड ऑल तो फर्स्ट टाइम ऐसे लेट्स ट्राई दिस सो आई ओपन अ रूम कॉल्ड क्रिप्टो फॉर डमीज ओके थ्री फोर थाउजेंड पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड गेम दैट्स द लास्ट टाइम आई गॉट सच एन ऑडियंस एंड लॉट ऑफ लाइक बिग शॉट्स एट लीस्ट टू क्लेम टू बी लाइक बेस्ट बाय का सी ओ हैपन टू बी इन इंडियन लाइक ऑल दीज गाइज एंड दे रियली लाइक टुक मी अंडर द विंग बट इज वेरी इंटरमीडिएटिंग वैसे डेयर बॉस ये तो एक बार समझ में नहीं आ रही है तो पैसे नहीं डालेंगे उधर और दूसरी चीज़ है यार मैं बिटकॉइन से सोच रहा हूँ एक बिटकॉइन तो थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी लैक्स का है तो रिलैक्स बड़ी एंड दैट टाइम आई डिट अंडरस्टैंड फ्रैक्शनलाइजेशन एंड ऑल दैट बट देन आई डिट रिल रिसर्च एंड देन आई चांस टू बॉन एन एफ टीज वाई दैट रेजनेटेड विद मी बिकॉज आर्ट एंड समवेयर आई फील आई एन आर्टिस्ट एक्टर भी आर्टिस्ट ही होता है एंड लाइक यू आई 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 हैव डन स्केचिंग एंड ड्राॅइंग एंड सो आई गिव माई इंटरमीडिएट एंड एलिमेंट्री एग्जाम आई लर्न that yeah, i yeah, loved it yeah. i enjoyed because my first choice of profession always pilot but architect hmm right and neither cool. and and architecture needs so much like back breaking dedication it's not even funny yeah. like people i see people like have scoliosis as they grow older yeah. as architects because they literally because like, <laughs> <literally. laughs> yeah yeah so that happened yeah. i put it out there that uh, i want to make an nft lucky a lot of people from all over the world artists like can we collaborate yeah I wanted to make sure that I wanted an Indian to collaborate. Now right. I'm not a pseudo uh, nationalist. I love my country, but I'm not a pseudo nationalist. I think I'm not. My reason was that, look, today everything is about you have a great product, but you need to market it in your mm. brand, and you got to take the USP of it, and you got to kind of get it out there. I felt if I'm doing something, I'm the USP. So an Indian will resonate with me, and we'll make an artwork which will resonate with the audience. Mm. We made it, put it out, auctioned it, sold at five x. Next one got collected by a lot of people, including Maroon Five. Hmm. International attention, sold many. How does this? So, okay, I don't understand much about NFTs. Hmm. I, you know, I understand enough to not invest in them because I don't see the. Uh, uh, I mean, like I don't see the benefit of investing in one. Maybe I would put out an NFT because I'm an artist. as opposed to this thing mm-hmm. but like the way i understand but anything it, can be an nft yeah nowadays. that's what like it needs not just be, be art NFT, right artwork like a image like, like a video means, vines became nfts like a youtube video you, can YouTube be an nft can also be an nft you basically yeah. digitize whatever and yeah. put it up in the yeah. blockchain yeah. yeah and then you can sell it or you can but it can it still be on youtube if it's a nft of course it can be but on the blockchain will be the original contract right right so you can have hundreds of jpegs about it. you can put it up on your dp you can do anything that won't be the original right the so valuation of originality is coming back thanks right. to nfts right okay. yeah cuz the conversation around nfts is more like it's removing it's making everything more capitalistic and more uh, money really? wise yeah that, i mean that's okay. the uh, i look at it from a different aspect that it's giving power into the hands of the people who create right for example an artist will get royalty from it for the rest of his life yeah. right which is outstanding power man yeah. i know as an actor i crave that i wish mambo yeah. <laughs> had the royalties yeah. i would have been a multi billionaire but i wish my character in hippopore john had a royalty yeah. i mm. wish singers imagine arijit singh or sonu nigam having and they've been fighting for and it. that's yeah. a, that's a more westernized concept for example like i was watching rupaul's drag race and then they do interviews with like the drag queens so every season like, at the end of the season like rupaul who's the drag queen supreme she'll feature the top 3 or 4 drag queens who are in the finale into her own song the song is already done she's recorded it there's a version of it with rupaul and then there's a version with the queen singing their versions okay so now every time that song plays in a club in america they get a dollar or royalty for it right. so they are not going to be broke for the rest of their life because yeah. that version of the song will keep playing and that's in, fantastic in india there's no system like that at all so it's, it's like, on the yeah. blockchain yeah. now the funniest thing is like when nft also came around one of the funniest videos was just that i like they like why people paying billions for this i can just go control save and it's in my computer yeah. and that's then true. obviously the, the joke is that the masses will not understand the, the major the back end of it all essentially right and yeah. you know i have always focused on the fact that okay art is great so everybody said you know aesthetics par focus kar mm. i said great but mujhe utilities dena hai matlab jo bhi mera nft kharidega use sirf artwork nahi milega use uske sath utilities bhi milega so initially my what were my utilities my utilities were firstly the the fun part was that you're buying into um uh I mean, you're buying into somebody who's the first of his kind from the country, so yeah. the valuation obviously increases tremendously. It's a collector's mm. item. Mm. Secondly, art is also good; you can display it. Yeah. Thirdly, वो थोपड़ा है मेरा उसमें तो अरे ये तो मैं जानता हूँ conversation हो जाता है ये ये तीनों चीज़ aesthetic में चला गया. Mm. But I added utilities. Utilities मतलब if you get it, you get a meet and greet with me, right. whoever wants. Yeah. Uh, today, whether we love it or you hate it, uh, your number of subscribers, your followers, etc. on social media is a currency. Mm. So I offered them that. If you collect it, then I'll do a live session with you on my Instagram, which mm. is organically increasing your social media. That, yeah. and then I've always had a give back. 
like I have a daughter, so I've always wanted to give back to the girl child, etc. So, so part of it goes into the girl child. Hmm. Now what happens is that with my newest NFTs, I focus more on the film industry and how the daily wage workers, hmm. light men, dress dadas, you know, these these guys have have been suffering because there's no opportunity shoots. So every part of my thing goes to them. Right. Nice. And so now we'll continue. I mean, that's yeah. where it started from, and that's right. where it goes. So utilities plus this thing and. uh my latest project basically has a ton of utilities hmm. yeah hey, that's really fascinating to me it's i don't know yeah. you could do all of this no you can that's what i mean I'll, i i just one thing i want to kind of get at is that including me the laziness to understand yeah you know people turn around and just look at not even the headlines the the her of the headlines now it's yeah. become that much mm. i mean our, our concentration or our desire to understand has become so that's true so me kya yeah uh, today if i turn around say ar nikhil ne mujhe show pe bola thappad mara <laughs> there'll be 20000 people who will support me yeah i seriously without yeah. even getting his point of view from yeah, yeah, yeah. it's dangerous yeah it's dangerous because yeah. people don't want to scratch the surface and i'm really harping on that point yeah. because in this time of laziness with development we have also reached a place of tum log aisa kya bol rahe ho kisi ne aise accuse kiya hai kya kuch cheez ka pehle se nahi nahi in the comedy scene generally there is a, a yeah and in the world also slapping. generally no fact here but i don't yeah. want to make this too heavy but that's yeah. a fact i mean i i urge you yeah. everybody also it's navin at, not nikhil yeah oh ban i've been calling you yeah. nikhil since when that's okay i'm very sorry My deepak deepak, deepak says <laughs> deepak says deepak says sorry okay vishal met <laughs> there you go <laughs> vishal met that's your, yeah yeah we were seeing that on uh, instagram man it looks like vishal met <laughs> vishal it's vishal like a, it's like a breaking bad yeah so vishal malhotra dot ethereum is it yes yeah so it's vishal look like vishal it's vishal dot eth Vishal M. M. Dot Eth. Yeah, so yeah. Vishal Meth. Meth. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Naveen, sorry. I'm it's okay. It's Naveen, okay. I want to apologize. I kept saying Nikhil. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Naveen, okay, man. Naveen. It's, Naveen. It's, it's better than what people not calling me back. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. But Naveen, my middle name is also Prem, by the way, like your grandfather. Really? Yeah. There's no yeah. chance in it, but it's right. only Prem. Naveen Prem. So I'm going to call you Naveen Prem from. Yeah. That's but why? Like, what is the dot Eth? Is Ethereum? Is it? Ethereum. Yeah. Yeah. I keep telling my dad I want to invest in crypto. He's like, don't bother. He says uh, you don't understand it, but I do. How much do you uh-huh. understand about stocks? No, no, I understand he, he stocks. stocks. Yeah, it's the share market family. That's the oh, another great, reason, right? Like people are came, uh, people are uh, this thing. Now people get averse to newer things as they get older. Also, I don't. I'm not here to sell it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to say that. I but like for a for a dummy like me, okay, like now you want to and me. <laughs> no, so you have your NFT out there. What is out there and who are out there and where is out there? I just want to know all of these on things. the blockchain. Huh. So like there are marketplaces where you can sell it. Foundation, Open Seas, Vizirex. Is is Ethereum a different blockchain from Bitcoin? Is it all Ethereum on the same? Ethereum is a different chain. It's a different chain, only, right? right? So Ethereum yeah. is not only a currency; it's also used for making smart contracts. So it has multi usage. Bitcoin is primarily a currency. Oh, currency, okay. Right. Um, and there's a limited value. That's why it, you know it's so huh. valuable. Um. So there are all these marketplaces like there is Amazon or whatever mm. you sell you sell here. Huh. So for my latest project, um, a friend of mine Rick Day, who's actually an architect turned coder, mm. a brilliant guy, uh, lives in Missouri with his wife and his dog Sheldon. Mm. Um, made uh, and like he didn't give the wife's name at all. <laughs> like his yeah, wife and dog Sheldon. Ah, but like the dog is public information. The yeah. wife may not be. Continue. Okay. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, uh, that's like, what you meant by yeah, sidetracking for no reason. <laughs> yeah, Ida, Ida Sharma is on in his own name, wife's name. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and Rat Labs, Paris, one guy. He's the guy who made this. I got my own uh, Web three platform, basically. Right. So it's my own marketplace. Nice. So now I sell my own plat- uh, my own NFTs from there. But that was oh. not in the beginning, right? In- that happened now for this project that I'm doing, right. which is the film project, which Correct. I hope you all yeah. will make me yeah, talk about. Don't tell oh. about the film, yeah, please, because it's called. Uh, it's India's, yeah. That's Island. what we're building up to, because it's India's first crowdfunded, yeah. uh, 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 crypto crowdfunded NFT, NFT not film. crypto, NFT. Oh, sorry, NFT yeah. funded. So yeah. it's it's definitely India's uh, first NFT funded film. Yeah. Um, There is a little bit of research I need to do more, but I'm pretty convinced, and a lot of people are convinced that it's the world's first. Okay, so great, uh, fantastic. It basically works that I create whatever NFTs that I've created from June till now, I sold it, uh, converted into fiat, which is rupees, paid tax on it, and जो भी बचा उससे मैंने picture बनाई है. Nice. Okay. Picture का नाम है Elm. Sweet film, thirty thirty five minutes. Got a lovely song. Got lovely background music. Lot of amazing people have turned around and put it. So you know what's awesome about it is the fact that. पहली कलर पिक्चर थी एक पहली टॉकी पिक्चर एक थी द फर्स्ट एन एफ टी फंडेड फिल्म सो यू नेम बेसिकली वी मॉटलाइज ऑन इट एंड कमिंग टू द कलेक्टर्स सो वॉट हैपन्स दैट वी डिवाइड टू फोर 
the platinum ticket, gold ticket, silver ticket, and the, uh, the price is different for each. So whoever collects this or buys the NFT gets a producer credit on the film. Right. Now nice. I've been around for the last 27, 28 years acting. It's a kink, man. Whenever yeah. I see my name on the credit rolls, now yeah. I get damn excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I wanted that experience to be full. And yeah. people have understood the value of that. Besides the fact that you're collecting a token for another Genesis piece, historical piece. Yeah. So the price has already gone up 25x. Right. 25x on the Ethereum chain, right. hmm. which is unheard of. Uh, one of the biggest success. And I didn't sell it on any other known platform. I made my own platform and outsold it. Right. So these are just factual and I'm I'm proud of it. I'm very grateful about yeah. it. So and now when the final movie comes out, would you put Darul Sassan in NFT? Eventually? Maybe, maybe. But yeah. I'm going to definitely, it's a great question, Naveen. Yeah. See, what happens yeah, is confusing that... confusing okay, already. No, the, the, the previous okay, NFT yeah, is funded. The, the, the funded, funded okay, yeah, okay. So the, the movie, movie itself is a... a new, yeah, new yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes. So yeah. I, I'll just uh, kind of clarify that. So NFT is beche, paise aaye, mm. picture banai. Picture, a picture, ev- NFT abhi picture jo hai, wo real world mein jaise normal picture banate hain waise hi banaiye hmm. ab wo kisi ott mein jayega ya jahan par bhi jayega right. main announce kar lunga thodi time mein uh, lekin phir wo rights hamare paas honge ki we can take parts of that film jaise ki we will make an nft out of the song of the film right. and hmm. sell it as an nft nice. then we'll take ba- behind the scenes yeah. then we'll take actor interviews right. then we'll do actually putting the budget the call sign the call sheets yeah. And so it's like a Kickstarter Patreon all combined into like one yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah, which yeah, continues adventure. even after the release of the exactly, film. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then once that happens, when everything is done, who knows? We might just take the entire film and sell it as one NFT. Yeah, yeah. So the monetization keeps continuing for a very, very long time and people kind of keep getting involved in it. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh man, but you must have had to pay mad tax on that Ethereum. 31% straight down. Uh. No expenses allowed. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. I and mean, even in the middle, they had cracked down on the crypto th- stuff as well, right? The government. No, yeah, man, there was no stuff. policy. Yeah, there was no policy. Now there is a policy to mm. some extent. I actually because appreciate Because everybody yeah, was like yeah. using Bitcoin to buy weed on the fucking internet. No, but it's, you know, the anonymity helps, but also I I, I agree with you completely. Like, kuch we're not bastards anymore. Yeah, kuch to bolna chahi, kya hai, kitna tax hai, kuch clarity do to log ko bhi kampo hai. Legitimize ho gaya na, kar liya. And that's good. That's progressive of our government. Because I'll tell you what, um, we missed as India the Web 1 revolution, mm. yeah. internet. Because this is what it is. We missed the Web 2, social media. This is what it is. But we came, right? Now we're, we're about to miss the Web 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just got geo in the and, and the blockchain and all <laughs> will really, like, geo. like the one place where it will revolutionize things is just like land ownership and all. Once there is a contract on the blockchain Smart that cannot contract. be fucked with only dude. Yeah, it's true. Like all your land disputes will become so much yeah. more clearer. Like it can have genuine social level impact. But anyway, what is this movie about? So it's a... Everything it's a, you told us but what movie, it's yeah. about. It's called Ilm. Ilm means knowledge. Also uh, inspiration to a certain yeah. extent. And uh, industrial light and magic. Um... Uh, so Ilm is a story between about a 12 year old boy uh, and his grandmother who live in Aksa village. So we, we've shown that aspect of society. Um, the boy has recently lost his parents about six months ago. And at that age, you really, you're really getting to know your parents, right? Mm. And he shuts down. His name is Krishna. He just shuts down. There's only one thing which gives him happiness in life is to portray his grandmother, to sit down and make portraits of his grandmother. Mm. Mm. And, and, and when he's on the crux of losing her also, it's how he's got to kind of fight against all the odds and kind of get back things back together. Yeah. So that's oh, what Ilm is about. Yeah. yeah, Simple, sweet. It's got one lovely song. So Samar Swaroop is the guy who's done the music for it. Fantastic guy. Lives out of Jaipur. Mm. Really should check him out. Fantastic are you, voice. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, but like all the people you've spoken about are from all over the country, right? And yeah. that happens with me as well, where like everyone we work with also at Lasso and all, everyone's all over the country. Yeah. Is this something that you've started doing more after the pandemic or is this like you generally? I don't care. Because everything was online. I haven't met yeah. any of these guys. Yeah. Now I started going and meeting because when the film was getting conceptualized and everything. Yeah. We, Zoom were, calls. we were locked. Yeah. We were Zoom calls. So yeah. we've actually yeah. done the entire music on some software which you all must be knowing of, which is studio. You actually feel you're in the studio, but you're actually on Zoom calls. Right. Mm. The background music has been done by uh, Abhijit Vagani, who's mm-hmm. the guy who's done the T-series, produced the T-series mixtape. Mm. Man, I mean, these guys agreeing to do this is massive for me because... Mm it makes a difference to the yeah. film. So do you find yourself to. pulling in favors or it was more like they're forthcoming also? Well, I I went and asked. I mm. just went and said, hey, I'm doing this. It's a yeah. first of its kind and they found value in it. Yeah. So Asking is difficult but often very rewarding in life, no? Yeah, but you, I mean, what you're asking for also, part, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. So, um, I don't have any qualms here. Why should yeah. I have a qualm? I went to my cycle and I said, look, I'm making this. Uh, 
करोगे मेरे पास पैसे नहीं है मेरे पास इतने है मैं साइकिल वाला आदमी झोला लेके आया हूँ नहीं वो 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 एंगल नहीं था I drive like a real like a bhaiya cycle. <laughs> no, actually, I I I'm I'm actually uh, really uh, people think I'm very cool when I come in an electric cycle. Huh? Yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. rather than. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's a fact. That's that, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a fine. very dusty city as well. I'm immune to COVID. All right, as we come to the end of this fine chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Unfortunately. Or करते हैं. ये देखने पीछे से producer ऐसा ऐसा करने लगता है ना फिर हम लोग को फिर करना ही पड़ता है. Don't look at him. It's He's not his right. fault. It's all his fault. Look at the one whose fault it is. चल ना थोड़ा और बात करते हैं. करते हैं. मेरे को तो करना है. अपने वो time ही time है. Yeah, yeah. But uh, did you act in the film? Did you write uh, the film? Did you? I wrote it. I have directed it. It's my first directorial. Yeah. And the conceptualization is by me. And I'd mention some lovely people involved yeah. in it. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to cast a kid. That's always difficult. Working with children is yeah. But I got really lucky on the fact. Mm. Thanks. I got really lucky because I got the exact cast. Ah. Mm. And uh, in the sense, you when you were writing it, you already had an idea. Ki iske I knew I wanted this kid who people would feel bad for. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got one kid like that, and uh, <laughs> I chose the guy on the photograph, not even seeing a screen. Oh wow! So yeah, I was yeah. like, wow, this guy's just his eyes talk to me. I think when right. kids are cast in movies, we have to at some point feel bad for them. Like, that's the difference between the first Home Alone and the new Home Alone. Do you know there's a new Home Alone? There's a new Home Alone. There's a new Home Alone in which there's a that kid from uh, Jojo Rabbit, the fat one. Yeah, yeah. The spectacled one. Yeah. He's cast as the kid. Okay. Okay. And you no know, first Home Alone, Kevin McAllister, he's alone at home, and the robbers try to and, and yeah, yeah. So basically, like he's a you know. Kid who has to defend his house. Okay, yeah, yeah. in the new one, there are there's a couple who is selling the house because they're so broke. Okay, Christmas is around and they're so broke that they are going to sell the house. And this kid and his mom go to see the house warming because he has to pee. Hmm. And when he goes to the house, he sees a collectible doll which is valued at like millions of dollars. It's a collectible item, and the doll goes missing from the house. So uh-huh. now the couple thinks that this kid stole the doll. Uh-huh. That's why they're trying to attack his house, and then he makes the life miserable. So they're just a poor couple trying to get the doll back from this kid who's an obnoxious rich asshole so they have come so far from yeah. that original concept that nobody felt bad for the kid in the movie like all the reviews were just like what the fuck is this kid doing dude why why is such an asshole to a poor couple yeah and it's just yeah. like deranged now but no, that's we, what i'm saying we have, the, we had the kids, kids yeah we had kids in the movie because uh, and it's good yeah because i've had experience working with disney and with kids once yeah. Yeah. again and again i mean while i'm talking to you also i realized that it's been such a great training ground right yeah And uh, what is fun. it like? I mean, I, I, I mean, we don't have that much, but, but we can go shortly into it. Like yeah. being in the Disney family, right? You are part of the Disney family. And you've also mm-hmm. voiced actors. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, you right? did Toy Story, dude. I was Ken. Yeah, <laughs> you were in Toy I've Story. I've done Bugs three. Life, Pirates of the Caribbean. Nice. It's been great fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what's it like? It's it's amazing. It feels privileged. It really yeah. does because you're a part of the world's biggest entertainment company, which is just yeah. growing and taking over everything, right? But that's not really what it is. Yeah. It's about inclusiveness. It's there. Today, um, I'm about to start shooting again with Disney. Hmm. I um, after a sabbatical of I think twelve years, thirteen yeah. years, I did a show after Vicky or Vital. Uh-huh. I during the pandemic, we shot something called Imagine That, which is on Disney Channel. And you know, I really wanted to sense uh, when they came to me. I wanted to kind of check on my own that do I still have it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it became a rage. Yeah. So I guess there is some connect. And then the research showed that. The people who have grown up with me are this watching it, yeah, and they yeah. have kids. Yeah, to like a bed yapper or dick. Yeah, my hero was when I was little. Exactly, tha. exactly. Yeah. And they have introduced me to their next generation. That's lovely. Which yeah. is a which I'm so grateful for. And now we're getting into the next season. Does of your kid? How old is your kid? Does your kid watch Eight. you on? Uh, imagine that. Yeah, she does. Her name <laughs> is Vedika, and uh, in fact, uh, she was six and a half when the pandemic started. Yeah. And she was just about starting to watch a little bit of TV, which we are a little strict with. Yeah. And she saw Hippie Pore. A show that I had done. What and a classic show, though! Like that was a good, yeah. that was good writing. Na- Nakul, all of these guys still remember their names so weird. Yeah. yeah. So we, we saw. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she saw that show, and she saw it episodically, and she really. So I saw it for the first time from an audience's point of view, and I said, right. "I get this now. Yeah. I get that." Because my sisters were in school when they all were in, the, in that show. Yeah. They were like in tenth, eleventh, and they were like, "This is the this yeah. is the mental game and all of the dynamics." And the people still yeah. luckily identify with. Yeah. yeah. But to cut a long story short, yeah. I did something really cool for her, which I'd like to say is that I got all my friends from Hippie Puri. We're still in touch. We have a WhatsApp group. So oh. cute. And I got them all on a FaceTime call, and oh, yeah. she was sleeping. I said, "Get up, get up." Because every day was a conversation. Oh, Sidus yeah. and you did this. Yeah. Oh, Zafar and you did this. Are you pure? Are you mazhar and all? So we, it became a part of her DNA yeah. for that time, mm. right? Because it's a very strong thing which is connected and remained with people for years. Yeah. So that's her living through it. Yeah. And me being allowed to live through it and yeah. looking at myself as a character. Yeah. And I get all these guys, and one day they wake up saying, "Vedu, get up, Vedu, get up." 
so i i hope i didn't damage her <laughs> but she she you know and then they've come home yeah. so for her it's like me watching friends and chandler and monica and all these guys coming home of all yeah, of a sudden yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so i became a little i got some ब्राउनी पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम माय डॉटर फुल फुल इमोशनल जितना ब्राउनी पॉइंट समेट सको समेट लो काम लगेंगे बट नो के इट्स बीन गॉड गॉड्स बीन काइंड मैन इट्स बीन गुड इट्स इट्स वर्किंग वेल जस्ट कीप इवॉल्विंग कीप ऑन मूविंग एब्सोल्युटली फॉर अस आल्सो इट्स लाइक अ ग्रेट ऑनर हैविंग यू बिकॉज़ या वाओ पार्ट ऑफ आवर चाइल्डहुड वाज लाइक यू नो वाचिंग वाचिंग एंड पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस बट दैट सर्कल मोमेंट नो हां द क्वालिटी ऑफ कंटेंट वी हैड एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ कंटेंट वी हैड वाज वेरी लिमिटेड सो वी वी ड्रू आवरसेल्फ्स इनटू इट फुल्ली एंड दैट्स मेड वी ग्रेट थिंग्स वुड सरवाइव फॉर एज लॉन्ग एज व्हाट यू Did, did you know what I mean? Like that was Thank not you. a time where you could be mediocre and last for as long as you did, Thank and you. that you Thank have. You. So like it's just a testament to that fact. Plus watching you gives us hope. Ki like yes, I can have a twenty-seven year old, thirty year long career in this yeah. longer man. Yeah, and it's not only it's a lot of things that play right. Yeah, like the very valid point that you got out. What if social media was there? Maybe yeah. it would have been contrary, contrary, yeah. contrary to my uh, lifespan. Yeah. So I just feel very priv- privileged and. Really, really grateful that 27 down, 27 years down the line, I'm still a working actor, and I still have a little bit of validation. And now I'm directing a film. So yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, evolve, keep moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'll bring up that point that you brought up about typecasting. Yeah, uh, you know it has been. Yeah. I mean, I. I call typecasting another definition. I said you get punished for doing your job really well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like when I played Mambo, hmm. everybody wanted to cast me as a friend. Yeah. When I played John, everybody wanted me cast me that. When I played something Vishal in Jannat, hmm. everybody wanted to cast me as a bookie. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, but great. Why yeah. Not? Yeah. It works, but at one point, it doesn't work. Yeah. Hmm. And I hope it keeps working, man. Thank you so much for being on. What a pleasure, yeah! Thank you, guys. On that note, yeah. we shall say goodbye on Vartalab. This yeah. is me, Naveen. Myself, Akash, with our very good friend Vishal.